Welcome to Tech Aesthetics. In today's video, we'll be talking through Async command, which is a utility available in Linux to transfer files between your servers or between your local computer to your remote server. The reason Async is used very vastly is because of so many powerful features available within that. And also it's a very efficient utility as compared to the other options available like SCP or any other protocols like SFTP. The thing is RCP allows not just to copy files, but also to sync your files, to sync your ownerships, groups, permissions, and a lot of other options that you would like to explore. So let's just get started. So let's just go through what particular options are available within rsync. So as you can see, we have pasted the notes as well in the YouTube comments. So you can just go through there in the description and find out all the comments and the possible demonstrations. So the first option here is verbose-v, which basically allows you to verbose out all the particular things that rsync is doing. And you have hyphen r option, which allows you to copy data recursively and preserve the timestamps. And there is a archive mode, which allows you to again copy data recursively, but also preserves the permissions, users and group ownerships. And there is a JED option which compresses the file data before transferring it. So saves time and saves the file size as well. Then H option which gives you a human readable output. Again, very useful if you would like to see what's going on in the background. Then there's a few more options that we'll be going through in this tutorial. And that is hyphen E option that you can use to specify the protocol. So for example, if you would like to use SSH protocol, you can specify as such as a protocol using the hyphen E option. Then there is a progress option which allows you to display the progress for each file while transferring. Then there are include and exclude option which you can use to include a particular set of files or exclude a particular extension or a regex pattern based on whether you would like to not transfer those files at all. And there is a delete option which allows you to delete a particular files if they were deleted from source directory as well. Then there is a max size one which allows you to specify the maximum size it should make transfer tell and then basically if your file size exceeds a particular max size it won't be transferred then there is a bw limit option which allows you to set a bandwidth limit while making the transfer so yeah that's it let's just get started to the practical part the generic syntax for rsync will look like that Async options source and target. So within this tutorial, we have three servers here with me. First is my local computer. Second is a remote server one, and third is a remote server two. We'll be making transfer from a local computer to remote server one, and then from remote server one to remote server two, and then from remote server two to my local computer, just to demonstrate the all possible options. Now let's get started. So as you can see, I have this. WordPress directory with me which I would like to transfer to remote server 1 and I can do that by just going to step on back rsync ive now as you can see i is for interactive v for verbose h for human readable and I'm going to use a for archive mode to make the recursive transfer and of course you can also use that to compress the use the compression decompression while making the transfer so I'm going to transfer to my WordPress directory, which is the source to my remote server, which is at this particular address. And hit enter. So building the file list and making the transfer. So as you can see, all those directories, they are prefixed with CD and these files are prefixed with F. And it's also showing us the progress for individual files. So while this transfer is made, if you go to remote server 1, you'll be able to see directly because the file are already being transferred. And you can see the directory is built. Also the git directory is transferred which will assure that your files are still version and you'll be, you, you'll be able to use that as a repository on your remote server 1 if required. Now let's just uh, make an another transfer which would be, uh, I'm going to create, a, okay we already have a demo folder which contains two files get a.txt and get b.txt so we have two files a.txt b.txt what we're gonna do is we're gonna transfer this particular folder to another remote server so let's do that to do that basically we'll be using parsing command and then iv rk 
5 more and then transfer it to remote server 2. So 128.199.17.232 and then specify the source which is the folder type. So now it's going to ask you for the password. So considering we are dealing with the remote server, you will either have the password based authentication or SSH based authentication. It's always preferred to have a public key based authentication, which is way more secure than a password. But because for the demonstration purpose, I'm just showing you the password based one and I'm going to make sure I turn it off as soon as the demonstration is done. Okay, so the transfer is made. Now if I go here, I'll be seeing the demo folder all these files a.txt and b.txt i can just see the contents as well they looks good so as you can see we did remote one to remote two now now the another demonstration is from remote two to your local computer and to achieve that we can use a command rsync with a move one more option here which is delete flag so delete flag is going to delete the file if it's deleted from source directory as well but we, we are we're going to omit it for now so we can demonstrate delete later on but as you can see we are using the compression verbose human readable and archive mode and then transfer files from remote server to my current directory so let's just do that okay done so as you can see we have a demo directory here files now let's demonstrate delete flag so i just go back here to my remote server and i'm going to delete b.txt and I'm going to create c, sorry, c .txt. so that's now if you see the files right now a.txt and c.txt if I go back to my server and go a step back and then run the command again it's going to sync my folder and but it didn't delete b.txt which was out of sync already but if I just go back now and run the same command with delete flag, it's going to delete the v.txt file. So that's what the delete flag does. Now let's say you would like to delete the source directory completely as soon as the transfer is done. So to do that, we'll be using the flag called remove source files. So let me just copy that whole syntax. This time what we're going to do is we're going to delete the source directory as soon as the transfer was made. And to do that, we'll use this remove source file command. And as soon as we run this command, the transfer is done. It's going to delete the files within this directory. So as you can see, there are no files now. It's all gone. So that's, a, that's one demonstration. Now, now let's say we want to make another transfer. Let's demonstrate the another option which is include and exclude. So let's say you have this folder and within that, let's create another folder. Uh, I would name it MKDIR sample. And within that sample directory, I'm gonna create a file one.html and one.txt. So now we have one.html, one.txt, and I would like to only copy Asking it to only copy the file with HTML extension, and that would basically needs to be. So as you can see, we we asked rsync to exclude the HTML extension, and it does the same thing. The only txt file was transferred and the html file was excluded so you can do the same thing to like exclude a particular folder or just completely include only the files you would like to add so that's that's all about asking if you have any questions on a particular command that you would like us to demonstrate feel free to ask in the comment if you like the video make sure you hit the thumbs up 
and do subscribe if you're new to the channel for the more technical videos coming forward thank you so much for watching see you again bye bye